Hi guys, welcome to the board of studies questions for this subject, SCPM. We have already finished every possible question from the module and complete list, complete uh, playlist arranged chapter wise is readily available on our YouTube channel. In all those uh, videos, you will see that I have not only given the final answer, but I have covered all the concepts in relation to that entire question. I've tried to answer why this is the correct answer, why others are the wrong answer, so on and so forth. Two things before I'll start with today's question. Join our Telegram channel for the regular updates. And second thing, in case you wish to be enrolling for the complete course, link is there in the, the description. The moment you click on it, you will enroll. The lectures will automatically start. Absolutely no need of you all to be calling us and wasting your time. Okay, let's start it off. This is chapter number one, introduction to SCM. So the question for today is value chain analysis is aimed at which of the following first eliminate the cost second reduce the cost third increase quantity sold fourth increase the sales price fifth identify the opportunities for product differentiation okay get me the four options please four options one two and five okay then two and four okay then three one and five and lastly none of the above okay so now before i'll say the correct things you should be knowing what do you mean by value chain now michael porter was one gentleman who made this entire theory of value chain he told that a company is nothing but group of activities that it does and he tried to classify all the activities into two types he said that there are some activities which are value added activities and some of the activities are non value added activities and then there was a separate kind of a classification also that which activities Michael Porter thinks that manufacturing company does. He divided all the activities that a company does into uh, primary activities, secondary activities. In primary activities, he further had five classifications that is inbound logistics, operations, outbound logistics, marketing and sales and after sales service. In secondary uh, activities or support activities, he had four classification that is uh, human resource, procurement, uh, technology and firm infrastructure. But his primary aim of doing the value chain always remained that a company should be able to identify which activities it should do, which activities it should not do. So therefore, he told that those activities that add value to the user should be classified as value added activities and the company should spend good amount of time in doing these value added activities. But there are some activities which are non value added. Non value added in this case are those activities which do not add value to a user. To give you a small example, non value added activities. Now to give you one video of this type, I approximately take two hours for it to make a presentation, then to try to do the editing, ensure that sound comes wherever we all want. It is a good amount of task for us. So if it takes around two and a half hours, whenever you see this video, do you ever try to be thinking how much time does Anud sir take to make one video? No, you all do not think that because it is non value added activity. If by using artificial intelligence, I reduce that time from two and a half hours to say 30 seconds. Example. So then will it try to change your behavior of seeing this video? I don't think so because spending the time for making the video is non value added activity for a user. Okay. But then the content that I put over here, that is something like value added activity content that I have put on my complete course that is value added activity. So therefore I have taught the entire subject in approximately 90 to 100 hours, the complete course. Tomorrow, if I start to be thinking that, let me finish off the entire portion of SCPM in 30 hours. Will that deteriorate the quality of the product? Of course, yes, because most of the things I will not be able to cover it up in a proper way. So teaching hours are value added. So therefore, a company should try to not avoid value added activities, but then should try always to be spending lesser time on non value added activities. By doing that, you will eliminate the cost for sure because you will not try to do those activities which do not add value. You will try to reduce the cost that is for sure because you will be spending lesser time on non value added activities. And obviously, point number five also identify the opportunities for product differentiation, product differentiation, why my product is differentiated from the others. So therefore, it will help you in doing that. See, basically product differentiation comes because of the way you do these activities. So therefore, if you will try to do value added activities far more effectively as compared to your competitors, automatically one thing that will be happening is that your value will start to be increasing in the market. 
the consumer will always want your products. So therefore, one, two, and five should be the answer. Now, value added has got nothing to do with increase the quantity sold or increase the sales price. But that depends upon your marketing strategies. Okay, value add, uh, value chain analysis has got nothing to do with that. So one, two, and five should be the correct answer. So, uh, correct answer I guess should be one, two, and five. So therefore, it should be number one. That should be the correct answer. Yeah, that is the correct one. Just one reminder, in case you wish to be watching all our MCQ videos, which are from the module, then you can scan this QR code. It will take you to the playlist where every possible question from the module is covered. Thank you. I'll see you all in the next video now. Bye. Take care.